Yo, what's going on? Today, we're going to be checking out Dying Light to Stay Human, releasing tomorrow on the 4th, a brand new open world survival story driven game. I've been waiting so long for this game to release, and the day is upon us. Before we begin, let's go ahead and set a goal for 50 likes on this video. I know you guys can do it every time you hit that like button. It's extra encouragement for myself and the editors to put even more effort into releasing high quality videos as soon as possible for y'all's enjoyment. Enough talking, let's dive right on in. Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not oh, stand man. a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. All right, let's shape the future, boys. Irreversibly. All right. Well, that's a very interesting intro right there. There seems to be so many parallels that you can draw between the background in this game and what could probably happen in real life. Um, but we're not going to get too much into that. Uh, all right. Let, let's get going. Game looks absolutely stunning. You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. And you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is you still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim. Yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. I have to say that I don't remember too much about the original Dying Light since it's been so long since I played, and I don't even remember if I ended up beating it. Uh, but so far, it doesn't seem like we really need to have played the original in order to enjoy this one. Let's hope that uh, stays true. If you've played the original Dying Light, let me know. what. How is it? Was it worth it? Is it worth going back to? You're still strong. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Hey, what up? 
I'm not supposed to get up there. Aha! I'm coming, homie! Ah! Ah! Alright, listen. Second time's a charm, right? Watch me miss this. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come. I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. Oh, man. This game looks absolutely oh, gorgeous. Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. Oh, you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. Yeah. You know, so I'm kind of a hero. I know. But I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Wait. Seriously. I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Nobody there had heard of her. Ooh. Ooh, a little bit of hunting. Look All right. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Yeah, hell no. No way. Ooh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. Let's go ahead and uh, drop the mouse sensitivity just a tad. All right. Got to find some chamomile. Shamamel, cue to see your survival sense. We've known each other for a long time, but I'll still get pissed off at you if you don't hurry. All right, I'm going, man. Relax. Oh, right over here. Take that. We got some up here. Yeah, this will do. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? I do. Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying. Uh, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you. You just might go on living. Medicine blueprint. All right, let's go ahead and open up that crafting menu. Uh, so it looks like we... Shows the recipe right here. Upgrade level. Oh, I wonder what that is. Heals for 50. Four seconds to apply and produce one. All right. Uh, you received the first blueprint. Blueprints are plans that allow you to create accessories, uh, con uh, consumables, and weapon modifications using various craft parts scavenged through, uh, scavenged during exploration. Okay. This is where you store all your craft parts you collect. Read the craft part description to see how they're used and where you can find them. Okay. Now hover over and hold left click. All right. Cool. If we hover over these, used in explosives, primary sources, forsaken stores, evacuation convoys. All right. Cool. All right. So we know where to get it and what they're used for. All right. Neat. Come on. We almost there. Let's go, my man. How many of you have been waiting for this game to release? I'm quite curious. Let me know in the comment section down below and be sure to follow and subscribe. What's up? This is it. Come on. All right, I'm coming, man. I'm just talking to my viewers right now. Be sure to follow me on Facebook gaming. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. These videos should be coming out rather succinctly. Wow. I'm hoping to release two to Sounds three a like day. A nice crib. Damn is locked. Beautiful. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. All right. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Oh, right over here. See the crowd. Go around and grab him. Cue to use your survival sense. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. Empty. Wow, there's got there's a lot of things. There's gonna be a lot of gathering, there's I guess. Nothing here. Anything here? Nothing in here. Got some rags. Oh, 
Oh boy. Well, we can't exactly say no to gathering loot. We may need this stuff later. What the? Hey, everything all right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Just found some rats. food. I think it's time we parted ways. Wait, what? Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know what I'm saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Oh, come on, man. Man, you can never find a good friend nowadays. You know? Leave me in the middle of nowhere like that. I'll pick up that rice. The last spring party. Party? Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. I'm really digging how the game's sort of giving us a background story by looking at items around our environment. And that's what they called art? Yep, that's right. All right, so one thing I've noticed is it looks like uh, depending the different uh, glow effects of the senses are gonna show us like different quality types. So the green is like common. The red Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Is quite like quest information. Oh, it's a hide area. You can hide in there. All right, let's keep moving. Ooh. Take a look at that. A little bit of rags, some cans. Okay. Got a little closet right here. Let's see what's inside. Probably empty. And there we go. That is one raggedy, raggedy, raggedy item. Ooh, some cigarettes. Let me smoke those. Oh, wait. Resin. Man, I guess these guys died in the middle of a party or something. Sorry, Dave. Goodbye. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. That's heartbreaking. Yeah, it is. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. They died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky, too. Yeah. I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the guard, okay? All right, man. Okay. Wow, it's so sad, like the way all these bodies are kind of just lying there. I mean, did people just die in this game like all of a sudden? Because they're all like positioned, like this guy was hanging out listening to music. This guy was relaxing with his friends. And then, you know, the, their bodies are still in their like original positions. Oh man, oof. At least they had each other. Yeah, I guess so. Yo, can I take those pills? I guess not. What about this guy? She was classy. Yeah, she was. Welcome to the, to the last party. Oh, man. All right, so... Oh, this is a DJ right here. I guess everyone knew the world was ending, so they figured they might as well go down with a bang. Dear 
Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. Oh my God. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. Yep. All right. You got a gun for me? Because I'm starting to think this is going to be a little dangerous. An artifact collectible. Oh. All right. I will say that I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy pressing the sense button constantly. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. Ooh, thank you. I've just found it's a nice it bat. By the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Um, who? Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Oh. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. Oh, yeah. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Totally me to hear from you soon. Um, what's he gonna want? What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe. Well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you. I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. Yeah, I appreciate I mean, that, man. 
140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. All right. Let's get out there. I'm ready to take out some zombies. All right, so we got a rare one-handed stick in our hand. So uh, what I'm picking up so far is we're a pilgrim, which uh, probably refers to, you know, survivors of this disease that tend to travel and roam around. As opposed to like live in one, uh, when one area, All right, let's get out of here. Very convenient exit right there. Get to the radio antenna. Slide that open. Man, I really do check tab to check your current standard on the extended hood. Oh, when you hit tab. All right. That's kind of cool. All right. H for uh, heels. And then uh, the quest line right there. All right. Man, the game really is gorgeous. I have to say this game has been in development for so long with numerous number of delays that at first glance, it's already feels like it was well worth the wait. Let's just hope that um, this early impression that we're getting right now is it uh, speaking too soon. Oh, that can't be safe. Whoop. Whoop. Bit of scraps. Pick this up. I will say, though, at first blush, I, I wish there was a way that you could find items without having to spam Q all the time. Oh, wait. What the heck is this? Uh-oh. There we go. We got a level on him. We have a dodge with space bar. He's got two bars on him. Oh God, there's another one. Okay. All right. Come on me. You're going to freaking do. Okay, that was cool. Don't get close to the biters or they'll wake up. Doesn't look like there's really much of an option to like go slow here. explode but it didn't the game is taking it easy on us before it absolutely destroys all our will oh <gasps> oh my god i thought i was about to die there that's just a puddle oh my god i thought you were the guy yeah that's what's up well that took a good chunk of damage. Ooh, nice little parkour point. Oh, right, let's go open this up. You leveled up your parkour proficiency and earned your first pork parkour skill point. You can now use it to unlock your first parkour skill. Uh, high jump allows you to reach higher ledges uh, when you hold jump while jumping. All right. Unlock that. All right. Cool. 
Almost there. Up. Up we go. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. I won't get any better than this. Ooh, a lot of items. Let's go pick the stuff up. Search for a safe place to sleep. Grab those scraps. Yeah, we'll go to sleep after we're done gathering all this loot. Oh, God. Got another one of these guys. Um... Oh boy. Time to fight, I guess. What the hell is that? Uh Well. Some enemies use power attacks that deal massive damage and knock you down. When an enemy is about to use a power attack, his health bar will start blinking red. Dodge to avoid being hit. To perform a dodge, use the space bar. All right, I'm ready. Oh boy. Okay, come on. Duh! 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 All right, not too bad. Go grab this loot. All right, handful of uh, coins. I'll take it. That wasn't too bad. That was actually really cool too. Um, let's try to open this again, maybe. Oh, nice. I feel like a lot of people are going to end up missing this little location here, forgetting that they had just fought somebody. Common axe. Let's take a look at that in our inventory. This thing does 18 damage. Not as good as this, but it's got slash, so... Maybe what we should do is like take the hammer off because that's a blunt, right? Um, what do I can I swap these items? I just gotta swap it myself, I guess. Um, how do I unequip this? Can you not swap it? Oh, like that. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and do... We want... This is our main. Aha! Okay. I see how that works. All right, perfect.
Why is it not sticking, though? I don't know if this is scuffed out, but for some reason, I'm trying to select the different weapons, and this is on three. Oh, three changes the weapons? And not one, two, three? Okay, that is so weird. That is very strange. Okay. Let's go inside. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. Ooh, bunch of old cans. All right. Da -na 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 -na. Let's open that up. Hello. How you doing? And there is so much loot in this game. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I'm a big fan of loot, but... I feel like there's going to be a lot of, like, holding F. All right. Oh. Okay, let's give it a try. Zana na na na. Safe zones. You just unlock the safe zone, increasing your network of respawn points. All safe zones are equipped with UV light, which guarantees safety at night. Additionally, each safe zone offers access to a resting place where you can change the day-night phase and Aiden's stash where you can leave your excess items. Oh, that's kind of neat. All right. This is it. The broadcast. Oh, this is our stash right here? A station. Oh. Grab that machete. Thank you. All right. I guess we can go to sleep now. So how does the stash work exactly? Like, let's say I'm like, you know what? Let's just leave that behind. I can throw that in there. How many items can you put in there? A decent amount. Um, Honestly, like, we could probably, like, leave just, like, a couple items behind in case we want, want to be able to, like, break those down later, maybe? Like, maybe those break down into parts, possibly? Okay, well, so far, that combat was pretty darn neat. Um, and, uh, you know, we're still kind of in the tutorial section. No reason to keep on waiting too long. Let's take a look at this. Oh, what do we got in here? Some electrical parts. All right, not bad. Oh, that's a medical bed, isn't it? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Was she stupid, though? Shh. It'll be all right. I wonder if we were like test subjects for a potential cure. Yep. Oh boy. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? Oh, some of their pigmentation's messed up. Don't worry. 
They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. I know. Oh, God! Do what I tell you. separate us this is how we'll always find each other uh, lady. Not him, no. Mia. don't worry they're only shaving my head it's not that big of a deal well i mean i guess the experimentations must have worked right because we're still alive wait oh Close your eyes. So Dr. Waltz, I guess, saved us in a way. All those many years ago. Fire! Fire in the lab! Fire! Oh, that was a bit of a, seemed a little abrupt of an ending there. So that's cool. So Dr. Walt, Waltz. It was Waltz, right? I think so. It was a guy that pretty much saved our life I in a way. The guy Spike was talking about. And then again, we might be upset that he, you know, may have kidnapped us and experimented on us. But, you know, in my opinion, I, um... I feel like I would rather live after having been experimented on than the alternative, which would be being dead. I don't remember. I think it was 140. Was that the one he gave us? This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Was that it? Oh boy. Oh, we got it right. Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. How'd you change your mind? Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Oh, 15 years of course. Ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Oh. I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden. Oh my god. She's alive. Let's go! The start of the story is pretty neat. Man, this is gorgeous. Some massive walls. Woo! I'd like to think that was our sister, but I'm guessing it's not since he's like, you know, I... 
met a girl at the hospital as opposed to, hey, that was my sister. Ooh, artifact collectible, Paradise Lost, book number four. Ooh. Land on armatizes to avoid taking fall damage. Not really sure what an armatiz is. Okay, I don't see any armatizes down there. Duh. Maybe I jump in the water? I mean, it would make sense, right? Da na 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 na. Quickly. Oh, we're going to run out of breath, aren't we? Come on. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. <sighs> Worth it. Oh, it's fun to give yourself a little bit of a challenge right there. Man, I am absolutely adoring the color scheme in this game. A lot of like, um, I want to say like pastel colors really gives off the feeling of fall. Hello? It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I want to try I out this slash. The lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed up the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. Okay, so the slash doesn't seem to really do much. Hurry. Maybe you can do more like AoE damage? Oh, we're starting to get... Oh, I can cut off their leg. Wait, did I? Did I? Oh, I did. Okay, maybe that's the trick. Maybe I gotta, I can like cut off their limbs and then finish them off with a blunt object. All right, let's try it with this guy. Back up, get our strength a bit. Oh! Your weapon is almost broken. Look for a new one. Uh oh. You know, I left the other two weapons in the stash. I really didn't expect that we'd be, um, our weapon would be this close to broken already. All right, what do you got? Did these guys never have anything on them? <laughs> Yo, I am a hundred percent. This weapon is so close to being broken. What am I doing with my life right now? I think maybe we just should run forward, maybe. Listen, guys, I don't have a bat. I'd end it some other way, but right now, we're playing soccer. Down you go. Golden coins. Wait a minute. After all that, after all that, it turns out that this is not the way we're supposed to go. Oh, wait, maybe we are. Hold on. Oh, 
Wow. Well, that was a lot of unnecessary combat on our part. It's fine, though. It's an old military base of some some kind. I'm entering the tunnels. Hey, can you hear me? I'll meet you soon. Here I come. Here we go. Hey, is anybody there? Hello? Oh, shit. This doesn't look good. Oh, that is nasty. Look at all those bodies. I mean, it's fresh blood, too, so someone definitely lives around here. Probably had to oh my God. kill all these things to keep themselves safe. Oh, it's a UV light. Oh my God, thank you so much. I, I don't know what I could have done without you. Are you all right? Yeah. The fucker bit me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. You must get to the light quickly. Where's Mia? Oh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. Just stay strong. Here you are. We've been looking for you. And what about this one? Uh, he's dead to me. Didn't have it on him. Let's go. Man, who have... Uh... I wonder if this is where um a little buddy lives. I don't have the key. I swear. <laughs> really? I don't have the key. I destroyed it. T to activate your flashlight. Oh. Alright guys, hey, do you have any more weapons left? Because I could really use some. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, what? Oh. Coming, buddy. Uh, oh. Oh, that's cool. Ow! I wonder if I got... I think I may need to run a... a... Oh, there we go. You got to hold the, the jump key.
I wonder if there's going to be like a boss fight or something. A boss fight when I have almost broken weapon. Yo, what up, bruh? I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go. You're going to make us let him go, punk. Would you like to see you do that? Bring it. Oh, son of a bitch. Press and hold block to block an enemy attack. Block at the last, very last moment for a perfect block. Perfect block staggers the enemy and makes them invulnerable. Okay, we're probably going to need to do a lot of that. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, what up? Perfect block, huh? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Huh? What's up? What's up, man? Didn't think I could perfect block, did you? Oh, come on. Let me have the weapon. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Huh? What's up? Huh? You want one? You want one? You ready for this asshole? Oh yeah. Perfect block. Oh, I'll give you that one. Just cause I like a little bit of blood in my teeth. Yeah. Ooh, nice pretty face you got there. How about I use my hands? Yeah! You've acquired a new combat skill. Vault kick allows you to perform a kick while vaulting over an obstacle or a staggered enemy. Okay, that could be actually really useful. Um, You got to run towards them though. Oh, just a little run. Okay. Go ahead and grab that. Aiden. All right, just give me a second, man. I'm just like picking up this loot, dude. I need a new weapon like stat. Okay. If more enemies come. I'm not going to be able to protect you because I put all my effort into that last fight. Grab these coins. Thank you. A little bit of loot goblining. Thank you very much. Oh, here we go. New weapon. Double mace. Uh, I think our last weapon did 18. This one does 16. Fantastic. And it also looks like once your weapon breaks, it's gone forever. Very interesting. Okay, let's let's go help him out. I'm starting to feel bad for the guy. Just bleeding out on the ground and we're just grabbing everything. Who was that? There's no time in my pocket. I left you something. What is this? A GRE access key. The peacekeepers, they found it. We cannot lose it. You were going to tell me what happened to my sister. Where's Mia? You will go to Fish Eye. There, ask for a girl named Lawan. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Walt? Is Walt here? He is. They're coming. You hear that? Renegades. Run. We'll go together. Take this. Hey, let's go. Oh! That is a nice weapon! Come here! Use Vault to increase your mobility in combat. Run at a staggered enemy. 
And then Volt Kick. This is the foundation of a parkour combat. Later, you'll learn more skills that will further expand your abilities. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me take a look at this. This does 14 damage. 9% full health bonus damage. All right, we're not doing it right. Press. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Press. Okay. Come on. Oh, I see what's going on. All right. Okay, so the vault is kind of cool, but I, I almost rather like block and then do like a bigger attack. Oh, wait, maybe not. All right, let's go help homie G out over here. Let's get the fuck out. All right, let's do it. Come on. Here, are you there? Do you have my key? It's Walt. We have to run. But I'm looking for him. You idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Dylan. Uh oh. Boss time? Get to the vent. Quick. This way. You first. What are you doing? Waltz can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out! Fish eye. The one. Go! Damn the traitor! Uh, hi, Dylan. <laughs> hey, fellas. He's not questioning at all why there's a bunch of bodies on the ground. Let him go. Why did you betray me? This key is not yours. You can't. Where is it? Sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him. But he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. <laughs> Oh, dude! Someone's here. Oh, God! Walt! Childhood nightmare! Go, oh. go, 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 go!
I feel like 100% there's going to be someone Damn, blocking the path here. Hurts. Wait, what the heck? What's happening? That's exactly what I'm wondering. Title screen, Dying Light 2. Oh, oh, where is it? Oh, God. Here come. He's about to turn. Exploding. Thought it was a sneezy fit. He's an outsider. He must be killed. He's with me. You got that? Didn't I tell you not to go anywhere without me, eh? Didn't I fucking tell you? Who the fuck are you? They'll tell you about. Shh, shh. Not now. He's moving. Hack on. Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. Come on, buddy. Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hack on, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Fuck my head. You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fisheye. The fisheye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. Monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Oh. Without it, uh, stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you'll turn. You need a biomarker, and I know where to find one. Come on. All right. I mean, we might as well trust this guy, right? You just saved our life. He's turning again. Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine. Hey, you're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, hack on. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. 
Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I was a pilgrim. Oh, so pilgrims aren't like a type of people. It's like a group, I, I guess. Dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Ha ha ha. All right, with that, let's go ahead and wrap up this first part. So much has happened in this last hour of gameplay, um, but there's so many questions left unanswered that, you know, I'm not really at a point where I want to say whether I recommend the game or don't recommend the game. I will say it's pretty. The story has me intrigued, and I'm really excited to dig deeper into the title. Let me know, though, what you think of the game so far in the comment section down below. What do you like the most? What do you like the least? Part two is going to be dropping in a couple hours. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out when it drops. Until next time, catch you guys later.